This species lived between about 2.3 and 1.5 million years ago. Fossils of this species have been found in the countries of Kenya and Tanzania and Africa. In particular at Lake Turkana, Olduvai Gorge, and Koobifora. Homo habilis was initially considered to be a direct ancestor of modern humans. But fossil discoveries in the mid-1980s showed that Homo habilis had rather ape-like limb proportions. This evidence led to a reassessment of Homo habilis and its relationship to modern humans. Many scientists no longer regard this species as one of our direct ancestors, and instead have moved it onto a side branch of our family tree. The debate about Homo habilis continues following the discovery of some skulls at Damanisi in the Republic of Georgia. Two of the skulls are very similar to Homo ergaster, but one appears to have features intermediate between Homo habilis and Homo ergaster, and may represent a link between these two species. If so, Homo habilis may be a direct ancestor of modern humans, or that they both evolved from a yet undiscovered species. Homo habilis arose at a time when there is a relative gap in the fossil record, between 2 and 3 million years ago. This makes it difficult to determine where it came from or how it is related to the earlier Australopithecines. More fossil evidence is needed to resolve this issue. They were short, body proportions were similar to those of Australopithecines with females growing to about 110 cm and males to about 130 cm in height. Homo habilis was likely the first of our ancestors to experiment with building shelters. It seems that Homo habilis was capable of building simple structures of sticks, wood, and mud as a very early shelter. While extremely simple by the standards of later species in the genus Homo, this again shows that Homo habilis was a much more capable toolmaker than its predecessors. With a mind capable of abstract thought and planning, Homo habilis called the handyman is an early species of human that lived in Africa and used stone tools. Lived in a predominantly grassland environment. The climate was becoming cooler and drier and this may have been the impetus for new feeding strategies that included scavenging and tool use. Chemical analysis suggests that this species was mainly vegetarian but did include some meat in their diet. According to a new modeling study, Climate change was the primary factor in the extinction of Homo habilis about 1.65 million years ago.